This video is on horse bolting or scooting and how to correct the problem. Um, bolting and scooting can be extremely dangerous. It uh, could lead to more severe problems such as bucking, um, running away with you under saddle, whatnot. So with this little guy, he's three and a half, he starts to scoot and bolt here in a few seconds and after you see it then we'll go into how to correct the problem. So in the beginning, you know, if he does it, I'm going to want to uh, be able to control his direction right there. He started scooting and started trying to bolt away with me. Now I'm going to go ahead and mess around with him here for a few minutes. And there he goes again. So he definitely has a problem. So in this part, since I have some control over which direction he's going to be going, I'm going to keep him going. But in the beginning, what I want to do is be able to get on him and just really keep that nose flexed around and start teaching him directional control, which means he goes left forward a little bit and then right. The better directional control you have over your horse, the better you're going to be able to control the bolt or the scoot, which he was doing in the beginning. So in the beginning, this is what you want to do. You want to make sure he's nice, soft on the bit, and you can control his direction to the left and to the right. You know, I could bring that rein around in his nose, and he just gives really softly to the bit. Understand when they're bolting and the scooting, they're going to be a lot heavier in the mouth because all of a sudden they're tight throughout the body. But just hold, you know, constant pressure on the rein until you can do a one rein, one rein stop, move the hip, um, and get them moving around a little bit. After you have this established and you have good directional control on your horse, we're going to go ahead and move it into a trot. And here I'm just going to trot, then I'm going to go ahead and do a one rein stop. And I'm going to have him bring his nose around and bring him back to walk and then we're going to go back into trot again in this picture eventually i'd move into canter but i wouldn't do you know as much of a one range stop in the canter so here we're going to do it in the other direction at the trot and he's doing pretty good in this picture and then we're going to go back to walking and I'm going to soften his nose from left to right. And that's about all there is to solving the problem with folding and scooting. It's, you know, like I said, it can be dangerous. It can lead to a lot worse problems. But um, uh, you definitely want to get it taken care of and getting the horse's nose soft and comfortable. Soft and uh, relaxed is you know, the easiest way to solve this problem. So now we're just going to you know, control his nose a little bit control what his hind end is doing, the direction he's going in, and after you get done with your walk trot, and if you could do canter, that'd be great, but then you always want to go back down to the trot and then to the walk and teach him how to flex again. Here we're going to stop, and I'm just going to have him keep flexing, but I don't want him moving now. And then we're going to go the other direction. You always want to do things from both directions uh, on your horse. So here he's doing a lot better, and this horse took me about two weeks to get him through this, so he didn't uh, bolt or scoop, and he got on him and asked him to go forward. And when I'm getting off him, I'm going to keep him flexed, and here in a second I'll be hopping off him, but I'm going to keep him flexed, that way when I swing a leg back over him, his nose is flexed and, you know, he wouldn't be able to bolt off as I'm trying to get off him. I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope it helps out with your horses. Um, subscribe to my YouTube page to see new videos as they come out. Have a great day. Bye.